How's it going guys, it's Tactics HD here, we new episode 9 of my NHL 13 Hockey Alter Team Road Glory series. As you guys can see right now, I'm just looking at the trade pile. I have a lot of cards in there after the pack opening episode that was the last episode. As you guys can see, uh, nothing really too expensive in here besides the Grabner. I don't really know if that's the one that I bought or if that's the one I got in the pack, but hoping to get 8,000 pucks from that'd be really good. Let's look at a few change teams to get me some pucks. Uh, the rest of the cards are really just going to get me around 500 or less. So, as you guys can see, right here is the current lineup. I figured I'd show you guys. Uh, there's going to be some changes made in it later in this episode, but um, at the time I didn't realize that. So, I thought I was going to stick with it for a while, and I'm just kind of showing you guys all the lines, penalty kill, power play, everything like that. So, pretty good team right now, 4.5 stars, but uh, hopefully we can get a 5-star team pretty soon. I'm definitely going to be looking at upgrades at goalie as well as defense. Right there's Giante, I sold for 2,500. If you guys remember, I actually bought him for 1,500 pucks, so nice 1,000 uh, puck profit there. Didn't really have to do much either, didn't really mean to do it, just bought him, decided didn't want him anymore, sold him. And right here, guys, uh, I actually got disconnected from a game, and uh, I got the win, which is lucky. Uh, I, I thought I'd got disconnected, but I guess he must have, because I 0-0, zero, zero, but I got the win, and I got 2 or 300 pucks, I don't know exactly. And uh, right here's the second game of the episode. You can count the first one. And uh, he actually scored the first goal, making it one nothing. And then later, uh, he teed one up, and then got the rebound, making it 2 nothing. And then right here, halfway through the third, still 2 nothing. I was trying to come back, but just tough game, basically. And uh, he gets uh, slap shot on point five while my goalie making it three nothing. Then right here, Joffrey Lupul uh, doesn't miss, snipes the top corner, making it three to one. But unfortunately, we couldn't score anymore. So tough loss there, but uh, we've been win winning a lot, so not too big of a deal. I've got a decent amount of pucks too, I think like 450 or something. So right here, I came back. I think like a couple days later, or maybe like 24 hours later, whatever. Sold pretty much everything. As you guys can see, I now have 22,000 pucks. Uh, if you guys look at the trade pile there, just everything sold except for three cards so i was pretty impressed i didn't expect everything to sell like that um as you guys can see i still have trey lewis to sell he's got 87 skating which is really good skating for a center so i think he might be worth you know five or six hundred pucks hl player i'm basically just trying to get whatever i can hoping 200 pucks and then um martin latest too i'm hoping for maybe 400 pucks uh it doesn't really matter if they don't sell for that i'll just lower them down uh, i did so well with all the other cards not too big of a deal and as you guys can see right here i'm trying to get another game and um in this next game, I play this guy right here. Didn't read his name, but as you can see, it's 0 0, beginning of the third period. Get a nice uh, pass up front to Gagne, makes it 1 0. And that's actually how the game would end. Very close, very defensive game. Uh, but it was a good game nonetheless. Uh, 1 1 0. James Reimer got first star, so that's good. Uh, whenever your goalie gets a shutout. And then after that is actually when I started buying some guys. As you guys can see, I actually sold John Michael Lyles here for 1200. Forgot to show him being bought, but I actually got a really good deal on him. Bought him for like three or 400 pucks, so. Nice 800 puck profit there, just adding to my puck total. And then right here, I decided to go out and get Mason Raymond. He's actually one of my favorite players on Vancouver. 92 skating, one of the fastest players in the game. And I decided to play, make him a third line left wing. It's opposed to, uh, I think, uh, Pouliot's playing there right now. I actually forget. And uh, right here, I was looking at some players to buy. I'm actually able to buy this Joffrey Lupo for 4,650 pucks. I try and sell him for 7,000. And then as you can see, the other, th the other three players are still in the trade pile. Uh, still there. And after that, guys, I went and bought Darren Helm, another quick player. I'm going to try to make my third line very fast. And as you can see, he's got 92 skating bomb for just over 1,000 pucks. So I'm going to have him and Raymond on the third line. And I'm thinking, or sorry, actually, I'm going to have, have Helm on the fourth line, the Detroit line. But I'm thinking I'm going to get Cogliano for the third line to go with Raymond. And then maybe Yannick Hansen. He's got pretty good skating, I think 87 skating. And uh, he's got really good defensive player. Right here, guys, actually, it was down one nothing in the game. Got disconnected from the EA server. And literally, right after I got disconnected, it was on the menu. Clicked Ultimate Team. And it put me back in. So this is just EA trolling me or whatever they're doing. Uh, it kind of pisses me off when like uh, it d says you got disconnected from EA. I'm still connected to the internet. I go right back into Ultimate Team like 10 seconds later. And as you guys can see, I bought that Cogliano I was talking about. And then right there, I bought the Yannick Hansen. So uh, the third line is now Raymond, Cogliano, and Hansen. And then the fourth line is a Detroit line of Mersac, Helm, and Eves. So pretty good third and fourth line. Like I said, we still got to look for a goalie and a couple of pair, uh, new pair of defensemen. And this game, guys, was down one nothing early, and then I uh, went down two nothing late into the first period. So just trying to uh, lessen the gap right there. Another nice goal from Gagne out front. He's a really good shooter in the slot there. And it was two one right here in the second. He gets the breakaway, makes it three to one. And then right here, a couple minutes left in the second, Simone Gagne again just having a nice game. I uh, go short side on that goalie, making it three to two. And right here, five minutes in the third. Uh, Michael Grabner puts that home, making it 3-3. And then, uh, unfortunately, in overtime, you guys seen that goal. He went to take the shot. I uh, lifted his stick or something. He didn't even get to wind, uh, like wind up and take the shot. And the puck rolled into the net through James Reimer's 5-hole. Um, just embarrassing. It's just kind of a shitty way to lose. Like, 25 seconds left in overtime. 
uh, I could have went to the shootout and we could still lost like that, but I much would have much rather lost that way than uh, how I lost there. And as you guys can see, when I was talking about the, another pair of defensemen, I went and bought Dan Hamus and Ian White, both to a defense, and they're going to be my first pair of defensemen. Edmonton guys will be the second pair, and then um, Talender and Zidlickley will be the third pair. And as you guys can see right here in this game, Ravner with some nice moves there, out front, almost put it home all the way, but uh, unfortunately it was able to get the rebound and Gretzky put that away. And then right here, Gretzky just takes that puck, puts a top corner, that was a really nice goal, making it 2-0. And then right here, Ravner on a bit of a breakaway makes it 3 nothing. Kind of coming away with this game halfway through the third. Uh, Gretzky gets another one, making it 4 nothing, And uh, that's actually how the game would end. So another good win for us. I think we were like uh, 3 or 4-1 and one in, on this episode. I think 4-1. and one. I don't really count the uh, loss where I got disconnected from EA. And uh, I don't really count the win where I didn't do anything. So I think we are like 3-1, and 4-1 and one for this episode. And at the end here, I just opened my season ticket pack. Uh, just to see what I got. And as you guys can see, uh, nothing really too good here. Uh, assistant captain. Uh, training card, Nordique's jersey, but that's really about it, and an arena. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. It really helps me out as well, guys. If you're watching these, and you have been watching these, and you aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. Uh, it really helps me out. I'm trying to make it to 3K. So, besides that, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.